All the way from 1996, it's Mario Kart 64 for the Nintendo 64. And it says something about a game when the game cartridge is not rare. In fact, this is a very popular game. Yet it still commands about $20 without packaging. That's Mario Kart 64 for you, a game that pretty much everybody enjoys. And while this is a major departure from the original Super Mario Kart on Super Nintendo, bringing changes into the series that make it more of a social party game rather than an intense arcade style game where you have to focus on collecting coins to keep your speed up, it also moved the series into 3D style gameplay and added many of the elements that we enjoy in the Mario Kart series today. The game is definitely more like Mario Kart Wii than the original Super Mario Kart, with its happy-go-lucky bubbly charm, great music, and environments, but it's harder. It's a more challenging game, and while you can still move from last place to first place, right at the end of the race, it makes you work for it. It doesn't just hand you the speeding bullet. You've actually got to combine the power-ups with some driving skill in this one. And while I enjoy Mario Kart Wii a great deal, I appreciate the slightly more technical approach to the driving in Mario Kart 64. Alright, I get the same thrill playing this game that I get in a good Gran Turismo race. My driving game of choice, and I get that same rush of adrenaline passing a car on the last corner. And Gran Turismo actually kept popping into my brain as I played Mario Kart 64. Because this game takes me back to the late 90s. And I never really considered the N64 to be a graphical powerhouse with great looking games. I was a PlayStation guy back then, but Mario Kart 64 may be the best looking driving game from that era. It's a totally different style than Gran Turismo or Ridge Racer, obviously but really technically solid and well-built, what you would expect from Nintendo. <laughs> Nintendo outdid themselves with this game. Mario Kart 64 shows the same kind of technical mastery and playability that GoldenEye has. Now, the good news is that if this looks fun to you and you've never played it, you don't even have to fight somebody for their precious N64 game cartridge. You can just Download it for your Nintendo Wii from the Virtual Console. Bowser's Castle. This level is pretty much the end of me in this game. And the other one that gives me a headache is Yoshi's Valley. This one's pretty tricky. There seems to be more places in this game to fall off the edge of things than in the newer ones. Mario Kart 64 seems to have a nice happy medium, a balance between the challenge of the original and the outrageous over-the-top multiplayer style gameplay of the newest ones. I think that's why many people consider Mario Kart 64 to be their favorite game in the Mario Kart series. It's very well balanced. And it looks great more than a decade and a half after its release. It's still totally playable. This is a level that needs to come back. And while I don't care for the N64 controller at all, I found that it works really well for Mario Kart 64. Better than it does for the old school shooting games on the N64. You know, assuming you don't get run over by a train and crushed. That's, that's terrific. Every game should have a level where you can be run over by a train. Mario Kart 64 has 16 courses and the usual complement of 50cc, 100, and 150cc races, as well as 8 playable characters, including everybody's favorite Donkey Kong. Select your player. While there's not different vehicles, each of the characters does have a different style. Or at least there's a couple different styles among the players. Obviously Toad and Yoshi are a little faster, more nimble, while Donkey Kong and Bowser are stronger and can knock around other players. As you may have noticed, you can play this game with up to four players in split-screen action, which is probably the best way to really enjoy Mario Kart 64. Invite some friends over and relive the glory days of the past for a Mario Kart 64 slash GoldenEye tournament night. It may show its age in a few areas, some of the levels are a bit jerky, and the graphics are somewhat dated, 
but on the whole Mario Kart 64 is a nearly perfect video game experience on the N64. It's arguable whether or not this is better than the original. I still really like the coins. The original Super Mario Kart was tough with those coins, which is why I also really enjoy Super Circuit. But if you've spent most of your time playing Mario Kart DS or Mario Kart Wii, then give this one a download or find a used game cartridge out there. It's a terrific game. It's Mario Kart 64.